Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today we're gonna be unboxing and checking out the Mini Da Vinci 3D Printer by XYZ Printing. Right, so there are a lot of pieces here that I have never seen in my life. I can't even imagine putting this together without the instructions. So myself and my good friend Lewis are gonna go through the step-by-step -step process to put it together. We'll kind of just make it do uh, a little time lapse and uh, we'll continue this conversation when it's fully put together. All right, so Lewis and I went through the poorly written instructions and uh, finally got this all put together. It actually seemed a lot more complicated than it actually was. It took us less than 15 minutes, I think. Uh, so we got it going. Now we have to do a process where we put the software into the computer and then sync it to the actual printer. That way we can start printing some cool shit. All right, so we ended up spending like half an hour trying to figure out how to download the software. In the instruction manual, it says to download XYZ where that's the name of the software in order to connect it with the printer. And uh, we went on the website, couldn't find it. They had XYZ Maker, XYZ uh, Gallery, and some other software, but no XYZ Wear. So we're like, what the hell do we do? Um, finally, we were like, oh snaps, maybe we have to register our device. Uh, so we registered it and right away, downloadable XYZ Wear email came in. So do that. If you buy this printer, make sure you register and then you'll be sent the XYZ Wear software. All right, so before we launch the software, we have to plug in the printer to the power and plug in the USB cable from the printer to the computer. And then we can turn on the printer and then launch the software. So let's do that now. So there you guys have it. That's the Da Vinci Mini 3D printer. This thing is pretty damn badass. It's less than 300 bucks and uh, it prints things in three dimensions. Look at this thing, this thing's sick. All right, so we wanted to print something out that had a little bit of complexity to it. So we wanted something that had uh, different shapes and different cuts just to see what it can handle. And we ended up going with a phone holder that has a character, like a fighting character holding up the phone as you guys can see here. Uh, it had to actually print in two separate pieces. One, the circular base, and then two, the actual figure. The figure we printed out first, and uh, we did it with the default settings, and there were some imperfections within uh, some of the corners and some of the edges, and uh, you know we weren't sure if it was maybe we put something wrong or what it was, but then we did the circular base, the second part, and that part pretty much came out flawless. Uh, what we did there was we changed the setting to good. So it's normal, good, and excellent. Originally we printed at normal. So it seems that normal kind of goes a little bit more rough, kind of just gives you um, some detail, but not fully. Whereas good and obviously excellent gets you 
a damn near perfect print. So the plastic part that kind of goes through here goes in here and actually is what gets printed that filament uh, here we have a yellow one but you can actually get a variety of colors of filament so if you're trying to make something that has you know a variety of colors that come in different pieces you can easily do that just by having different filaments so the filament itself is not that expensive and uh, it's very easy to get from their website this is an awesome printer. This is the first time I've actually got to use a 3D printer and actually see something for the first time be printed live. It did take a while. It took several hours just to make this one item, but uh, it's badass, less than 300 bucks. I think it's a, a good way to go. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you guys liked the unboxing and first impressions of the DaVinci Mini 3D printer. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like on the video and please subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell so that you get notifications on any of my upcoming videos. See you guys on the next one. Peace. That way we can start printing some cool shit. I don't know if I want to say shit. <laughs> you want to redo it? Maybe. Everything else was perfect though. I'm gonna keep the shit. Fuck it. <laughs> I like the shit.